So as you know, the project currently is to make a higher voltage capable uh, CRZ control setup and then make that to a lithium polymer uh, minimum sort of like 200 volt pack uh, made up of the Accord cells I've got in a 50S2P configuration. So I've had to basically cannibalize a lithium OEM pack and a nickel metal hydride OEM pack. I'm not using the batteries at all from that. I'm just using the control systems and the modules mix and match. Uh, and I'm using the nickel metal hydride uh, system uh, with a lithium um, MPI uh, module, which is higher voltage capable and a HCH2 Civic DC to DC, which is also higher voltage capable than the nickel metal hydride uh, versions. So here we have a nickel metal hydride DC to DC and a nickel metal hydride uh, MPI. So these are going to replace. So I'm basically going to make up a plate and this is just going to be a sort of a mock up of it here. And uh, it's going to probably mount on the top of this for now, um, just so it's easier to get to. And everything will be bolted and attached to this alloy plate. So I'll make a pattern using this um, polycarbonate, whatever it is, stuff. And uh, then I'll get it la a laser a plate laser cut, which will bolt to that. And then all these units will bolt to it. So this is going to be a complete hybrid uh, thing. And then there'll be loads of space underneath then uh, this for the um, lithium polymer pack to go and its own independent BMS. Now the car, this part of the car doesn't care about the battery because uh, we're going to fool it in the same way as we did for the original tests. Uh, so this is just a combination of all the various modules working with the basic nickel metal hydride control system uh, and using a much, much higher voltage pack and higher current as well. So we've got, this is the nickel metal hydride phase current sensor. This is the lithium uh, MPI module. This is the bit that does all the hard work. Now these uh, connections are not in the same orientation as on the... Um, Nickel metal hydride, so I'll have to reroute those connections to this. This has the standard um, nickel metal hydride socket. This doesn't have a standard nickel metal hydride. It's not the same plug, basically. So this is a plug I've captured from another um, gadget I'd kicking around. So that's going to there. So I've got to wire that into the harness for the MPI uh, module. Uh, obviously, all this has all got to be wired up. This is the old switchboard for the nickel metal hydride pack. So I'm going to deconstruct all of that and basically make it all much more compact and put it all onto like hopefully one third of this board. Uh, and nothing's going to be in the same position as it was originally. So that will be the switchboard. And that's sort of the main contactor and pre-charge contactor and stuff like that. And that, as I say, that will all be um, sort of miniaturized cut down put onto there because we don't want it going intruding because it normally intrudes down into the battery compartment down the side and we don't want that we want the full space underneath here for the lithium polymer pack because that's going to make that so much neater and easier to build so everything on here is going to be on top of this this is going to be a bit like the hpi what is it on hpd system this is going to be completely bespoke um, but made up of various bits and pieces so it'll be the nickel metal hydride switching system uh, this is the nickel metal hydride MCM, it'll be that, and then we have the HCH2 Civic DC to DC, and if you remember the HPD um, CRZ, racing CRZ, they used an HCH2 uh, DC to DC, because that's capable of up to 220 volts, so uh, with that, that and that, and hopefully everything all hacked together working, we should be looking at getting at least... 200 volts with a bit of luck and that should push us up towards the magic 25 30 kilowatt area that we're uh, aiming for so we won't be far behind them i don't think once we've finished this and got it all installed um the motor connections will just connect on the same way as they do uh, normally so that's where we are at the minute now obviously got to, this is my um mcm fooling gadget which was sitting in the back of the nickel metal hydride car so this has all got to be integrated into all this so there's a lot of harness work to be done here uh, and eventually it will just be uh, hopefully a neatly laid out hybrid uh, setup uh, with the standard ima harness plug into the car and the standard motor connections but we will have the super lithium polymer pack underneath which will have its own bns bms which is an orion 2 bms and i'll just show you that briefly this is here this is a 60 cell orion 2 bms and uh, i'm going to use this this works with can and i can actually program that to hopefully send out messages over the f can voltages etc and then i should be able to pick them up with my obd to cnc and the 
pack, as you probably remember, is going to be made up of these. These are lithium polymer cells, brand new from the Accord packs. So I'm probably going to use at least 100 of these, uh, maybe 120, depending. Uh, I'll certainly start it with 100 and then hopefully leave some expansion for 120. So um, that's where we are at the moment. It's just sort of mocking it all up on the bench, thinking about where the wiring is going to go, how it's all going to go. Start cutting some holes into this, start dropping these things into the right positions, and then start thinking about wiring it all up. Yeah, so uh, lots of work to do.